Welcome to Seiko's Inspiration Through Innovation event. Today we're going to find out how Matsura used Miura Tech technology to help customers manage projects from start to finish, just like this hip cup. So David, you manage a lot of projects that use Miura Tech machines, just like this one here at the Seiko event. Um, how long have you been doing that? And, and what do you, what is, and what it entails managing a project like this? Uh, well, I joined Matsura three years ago from a different machine tool provider. And um, yes, we, we, do, we develop projects for our customers, cradle to grave. Uh, we like to introduce different elements, different companies and bring the whole thing together. Yeah, and so when it comes to managing these kinds of projects, there's a lot of moving parts, but you've got a, a machine like a Muratech at the base. And that's why Seiko, I've got this Muratech machine here to, to work on, new, I guess, new product development. Um, why does Seiko pick a Muratech machine like this? Well, Seiko picked this machine for its rigidity. Uh, the, the Muratechs are a very rigid and strong machine, so it gives them uh, versatility with their different like, uh, customers that they're bringing forward and their different applications that they bring. Yeah, and why do they, um, what kind of projects are these that Seiko going to be doing? Is it new product development? Is it trying to uh, improve older processes? It can be a bit of both, uh, a lot of R&D work for sure. Uh, on this occasion, they're making a titanium hip cup uh, where we've assisted them with the help of EdgeCam and um, you know we've programmed this component and worked together uh, to bring it bring it to, the, to this event. Yeah, and I guess the rigidity of machine helps with roughing and finishing, helps with precision. But what is it about the Muratech machine that makes it a good base for, I guess this is quite a high precision medical component? Well, uh, the machine itself is a, a 12 ton machine. It's very heavy, it's very rigid. It's got a twin spindle, twin turret machine. Uh, with the Y axis on each. So it's very versatile for any type of component. And there's a large space between each spindle center. So therefore you can get long components, large components, uh, le lots of heavy milling. Yeah, absolutely. And it's not just the machine and the hip cup demo, which you've got it in your hand, haven't you? Um, that you're showing off today. This is actually also supported by a lot of technology around us. Right. Um, so how does that feed into, I guess, as a project, it's not just the machine, you're building a whole process, aren't you? What are you showing today? Well, like I say, we like to work cradle to grave. So we will look, we will discuss a project with a customer. They will say, we want your machine to produce that. And then we'll deal with all the extra elements of the project. As you can see, uh, there's a polishing element to this uh, hip cup, obviously. And then there's an inspection cell as well. So collectively with Hexagon and EdgeCam ourselves and uh, SagTech, then we bring the whole solution. And talk me through that. So why does the hip cop after it's been finished, rough and finished on the Muratech machine, why does it need polishing? Well, the, the hip joint has a very fine tolerance for the uh, the inner profile for the rotating part. So it goes over to SagTech and they, they polish with some very specialized tooling and then finish off the application to a very high uh, a mirror image standard. Yeah, and then so you, you, you polish it on this machine and then it also gets inspected as well. I guess it needs to be quite high precision. Yes, yeah, so we, uh, we've teamed up with Hexagon as well to inspect the component. So what you have now is the the, uh, the polishing cell updates the offsets for the Muratech and the Hexagon cell updates the uh, offsets for the SagTech and the Muratech to keep that as an unmanned process. So if customers think they've got an idea, maybe improving an old process or a new product, um, how can they work with you? Uh, well, they approach us in the first instance and then we will discuss this with Seiko We'll bring the application down here and then we'll prove out the, the component with their tooling and give them a finished solution.